Hello, I'm James. I like going for walks and today I'm going to the Senin Bowl. I hope you'll join me. Now today I'll be starting at near Oldswater Road. I'll be walking all the way up to this spot here on Bostle Road which in my opinion gives you the best view. Now for those not in the know, the Stenin Bowl is an amazing sinuous hillside that overlooks the village of Stenin, another place worth a visit if you get the chance. My route today will be taking me up through Western Road North and onto Basco Lane. Around there you can see many, many wondrous sights which I'm unable to show you today but they're really better off seen in person. Now as we come to the end of Basco Lane, if you look to the right or east if you wish to be fancy about it, you'll notice the Brighton branch of Careco. From here we must cross the dreaded A27. At this time of the day, we're dealing with heavier traffic than normal, so it's ultra important that we cross with safety. As I'm doing this correctly, watch how long it takes me. Now I've made it past the A27, I shall be heading up past the shops and up Halewick Lane, taking in the last views of British suburbia before I hit the South Downs. As I pass Halewick Park, it does get steeper. Now if like me and you really have a low level of fitness, you may start to feel regrets. It isn't all bad though because now that I've made it to the top, my hard work has been rewarded with magnificent views of the South Downs and fields of barley. With the hard part done, I'm now free to carry on the rest of the walk. From here on, it's pretty easy. By now, it's almost half past eight. Now, in my opinion, this is the best time to go for a country walk because at this point, you won't see too many people and the level of lightness will be perfect or just enough so you don't trip over stuff. At this point I feel I should remind you all that hydration is ultra ultra important so always bring plenty of fluids. In my opinion you're always better off bringing too much than not enough. Up until now the trip has been rather uneventful but at this point I've reached the first road to cross. As it's a country lane, you need to be extra careful and always look both ways. After a little bit more walking and navigation, I eventually made it to my destination, 
the Stenin Bowl. Now amazingly, I've never actually been here and stopped in person to actually look. I've only ever seen it driving by. I can honestly say it's not disappointing in the slightest. I shall leave you to enjoy your view, as I did, and I hope you'll all join me next time for another adventure. Bye!